like that. And I thought probably the best way to do that was to kind of give you a background of my life story. And uh, you know, I've had a few um, few bumps in the road, so to speak. And uh, I guess I do play in the NFL now, and um, things seem to be going pretty good. But it hasn't always been, you know, just an easy easy road for me. You know, I've had to fight, I've had to work hard, and um, you know, just keep staying on that path, and trying to attain my goals, uh, earning a little money, working for my dad. And um, one one thing that he said to me that's really stuck out, um, pretty much, you know, throughout my life is that. The crops never sleep. So, you know, I don't know how much you guys know about farming and all that, but it's true, plants, they don't sleep. Um, so being a farmer, you always have to work hard. You always got to be on top of it. You can't really take a day off because, hey, the plants don't take a day off. So I've kind of uh, used that and try to apply that to my life. You know, always just work hard. You know, always just stay on the grind. Always keep, you know, moving forward. I, was, I just met some of you guys going on to play college, um, college ball. And uh, the biggest thing I can say to you guys is get your degree. Um, you know, you, you never know the next play. You can get hurt, your career can end. But um, you get that degree, and uh, that's something that nobody can ever take away from you. Uh, okay, so now going back to uh, going back to 2011, drafted to the Broncos, and uh, you know, like I like I hinted at earlier, it w it wasn't a smooth ride. It it was very very rocky. Um, my first year got cut at the end of training camp, and I was like, oh, you know, what, what now? Like, what do I do? And I, I dreamt about this moment my whole life, and I finally get here, and I get cut. Next year, training camp, get hurt, get cut again. And I'm like, oh, no, you know, what I've gotten cut twice now. Uh, what's going on? Um, get picked up by the uh, Tennessee Titans. Spend a little time over there on the practice squad, get cut. Jacksonville Jaguars, a couple weeks, cut. Um, so in in less than two years, I've, I've been cut from the NFL four times. You know, my my dream of playing in the NFL, is, it's not looking so good anymore. Uh, 2013, get signed on to the Houston Texans. You know, they just came off the 12 and 4 season. They had you know, a pretty good year. Everybody's talking Super Bowl and this and that, so I'm really excited, you know. Uh, come in, have a really good training camp, cut again. And uh, so, you know, now I'm really starting to doubt, you know, if, if football's a, a thing for me. Um, cut five times, and five or six times in less than three years. And uh, I, was, I was definitely discouraged, but, you know, just, Keep grinding, keep pushing, keep working. Luckily enough, uh, the Texans bring me back on the practice squad. Uh, midway through that year, I get uh, I get promoted to the active roster, and you know, I get to play the last eight games of the season with the Texans. The message, the main message, is that just keep working hard. You know, keep pushing towards your goals. You know, don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. Uh, you know, if you start to believe the doubters and the naysayers and all that. That's when, that's when you're gonna lose. You know, just always, like I, like I keep saying, you know, keep on going on the up, keep working hard, and you'll achieve your dreams and goals. Thank you. On behalf of our school, please accept these small tokens of appreciation from Coach Hill and the Panther Varsity Football Captain. We hope that from this day forward, you will consider yourself an honorary Panther and know that you're always invited and welcome on our campus. Uh, now that we know that Marshall has the same first initial, we will reserve number 54 for him when he becomes a Panther. <laughs>